Today, let's talk about a delicate but important issue about something everyone should know but might be too shy to ask about post-sex hygiene. We all know how important it is to stay safe and healthy in our intimate lives. And what we do intimacy is just as important as what we do. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting your journey, these 10 post-sex hygiene tips will help you prioritize your health and well-being. We'll cover everything from the simple act of peeing after sex to the importance of knowing your partner's STI status. Remember, taking care of your sexual health is a form of self-love. So let's get right into it. All right, let's talk about the golden rule of post-sex hygiene, peeing after sex. I know, I know, sometimes you just want to cuddle, but trust me on this one. During sex, bacteria can sneak their way into your urethra, the tube that carries urine out of your body. This is especially true for women because, anatomically speaking, their urethra is much shorter than men's. Now, peeing after sex is like hitting the flush button on those unwanted bacteria, literally flushing them right out. Think of it as a free and easy way to prevent those pesky urinary tract infections, or UTIs. And the sooner you pee after sex, the better. Don't hold it in, folks. Your bladder isn't a storage unit for bacteria. Make it a habit a non-negotiable part of your post-intimacy routine. Your body will thank you for it. Remember, prevention is always better than cure, and this simple act can save you from a whole lot of discomfort and potential health issues down the line. So next time, don't hit the snooze button on your bladder. Head straight to the bathroom and pee. After a little fun in the bedroom, giving yourself a quick clean-up is always a good idea, but hold on. Before you reach for the harsh soaps and scented washes, let's talk about how to wash wisely. The key here is gentle cleansing. Your genital area is delicate and has its own natural pH balance. Using harsh soaps or douches can disrupt this balance, leading to irritation, dryness, and even an increased risk of infections. Stick to plain, warm water and gently wash the area. That's all you really need. And speaking of things you don't need, let's talk about douching. Douching is like taking a fire hose to your vaginal microbiome. It washes away all the good bacteria along with the bad. This disrupts the natural balance and can actually increase your risk of infections. So ditch the douche and embrace the gentle approach. Your vagina will thank you for it. Remember, the goal here is to freshen up, not to scrub away your body's natural defences. Be kind to your intimate areas and they'll be kind to you. All right, let's talk about something simple yet incredibly important for your overall health, especially after intimacy hydration. You know, I'm a big advocate for drinking enough water and for good reason. Water is essential for pretty much every bodily function, and that includes maintaining a healthy urinary tract. When you're dehydrated, your urine becomes more concentrated, creating a breeding ground for bacteria that can lead to UTIs. Drinking plenty of water helps flush out those toxins and keeps things flowing smoothly. Plus, sex is a physical activity, and just like any workout, you lose fluids through sweat. Replenishing those fluids is crucial to avoid dehydration, which can lead to fatigue, headaches, and just feeling blah. So make sure you're sipping on water throughout the day, especially after being intimate. Aim for that golden standard of eight glasses a day, or more if you're particularly active. Trust me, your body will thank you for it. Staying hydrated is one of the simplest yet most effective ways to take care of yourself both inside and out. So drink up and enjoy the benefits of a well-hydrated body. Let's talk about condoms, a cornerstone of safe sex practices. Condoms are incredibly effective at preventing sexually transmitted infections or STIs and unwanted pregnancies when used correctly. But even with the best intentions, accidents can happen. That's why it's crucial to always check your condom after sex for any signs of breakage or slippage. It's a simple step that can save you a lot of potential worry down the line. Take a moment to carefully inspect the condom before discarding it. Look for any tears, holes or signs of leakage. If you notice anything amiss, it's important to take appropriate action, which might include emergency contraception or STI testing. And remember, open communication with your partner is key. Talk about any concerns you have and encourage each other to prioritise safe sex practices. If you experience frequent condom mishaps, it might indicate a sizing issue or the need for a different type of lubricant. Don't hesitate to experiment and find what works best for you and your partner. Remember, using condoms is a sign of responsibility and respect for yourself and your partner. So, make condom checks a non-negotiable part of your post-sex routine and enjoy peace of mind. All right, let's talk about sex toys. 
There's absolutely no shame in spicing things up in the bedroom, but just like any other intimate item, keeping your toys clean is crucial for preventing infections. And no, a quick rinse under the tap won't cut it. We're talking about a thorough cleaning to eliminate any lingering bacteria. First things first, always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for cleaning your specific toy. Different materials require different cleaning methods, and you don't want to accidentally damage your toys. Generally, warm water and a gentle, unscented soap are your best bets. Avoid using harsh chemicals or cleaners, as these can damage the material and irritate your sensitive areas. Make sure to wash your toys thoroughly after each use, paying close attention to any grooves or textures where bacteria can hide. And remember, sharing is caring, but not when it comes to sex toys without protection. Always use a condom on shared toys to minimise the risk of infection. Proper hygiene is essential for enjoying a safe and pleasurable experience. So make cleaning your toys a non-negotiable part of your routine and keep the fun going without any unwanted surprises. Let's talk about a topic that's often shrouded in stigma but is absolutely crucial for maintaining sexual health STI testing. Knowing your STI status is not just about protecting yourself but also about protecting your partner. It's a sign of respect and responsibility in any relationship. The reality is that STIs are more common than you might think, and many people who have them don't even know it. This is because many STIs can be asymptomatic, meaning you can have one without experiencing any noticeable symptoms. The good news is that getting tested is easier than ever. You can talk to your doctor, visit a local clinic, or even order a home testing kit online. Make it a habit to get tested regularly, especially if you have multiple partners or engage in any risky sexual behaviours. Remember, early detection is key when it comes to STIs. Many infections can be easily treated with medication, preventing long-term health complications. So don't let fear or stigma keep you from getting tested. Knowledge is power, and knowing your status empowers you to make informed decisions about your sexual health. Our bodies are incredibly intelligent, and have a way of letting us know when something's not quite right. When it comes to sexual health, paying attention to any unusual symptoms after sex is crucial. Don't ignore those itches, burns or discharges, thinking they'll magically disappear on their own. While it's normal to experience some mild discomfort after sex occasionally, persistent or severe symptoms could be a sign of an infection. We're talking about things like itching or burning sensations, unusual discharge with a strange odour or colour, pain during urination or sores or bumps in your genital area. If you notice any of these red flags, it's important to see a healthcare professional as soon as possible. Early detection and treatment are key to preventing complications and getting you back to feeling your best. Remember, ignoring the problem won't make it go away. In fact, it could make things worse. So, listen to your body, trust your instincts, and seek medical advice if something doesn't feel right. Your health is worth it. Let's talk about probiotics, those friendly bacteria that are often touted for their gut health benefits. But did you know that certain strains of probiotics can also play a role in maintaining a healthy vaginal microbiome? It's true. Just like our gut, our vaginas have their own delicate ecosystem of bacteria, and keeping that balance in check is crucial for preventing infections. Now, probiotics aren't a magical cure-all, and more research is still needed in this area. However, some studies suggest that specific strains of probiotics, particularly lactobacillus strains, may help prevent recurring urinary tract infections, UTIs, in some women. These beneficial bacteria work by outcompeting the harmful bacteria that can cause infections, promoting a healthy vaginal environment. If you're prone to UTIs, talk to your doctor about whether incorporating probiotics into your routine might be beneficial. They can recommend specific strains and dosages that are right for you. Remember, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplements, including probiotics. We've talked a lot about the physical aspects of post-sex hygiene, but it's equally important to address the mental and emotional side of things. Sex is a deeply personal and intimate act, and it's normal to experience a range of emotions afterward. Take some time to check in with yourself and reflect on how you're feeling. Are you feeling happy, satisfied and connected? Or are you experiencing negative emotions like guilt, shame or anxiety? If you consistently find yourself feeling down or anxious after sex, it's essential to address these feelings. 
Ignoring them can not only impact your emotional well-being, but can also manifest physically. Remember, your mental health is just as important as your physical health, and they're interconnected. If you're struggling, don't hesitate to reach out for support. Talk to a trusted friend, family member, or mental health professional. There's no shame in seeking help, and it can make a world of difference in your overall well-being. In a society that often bombards us with unrealistic expectations and judgments surrounding sex, it's easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism and shame. But here's the truth. There's absolutely no shame in prioritizing your sexual health and well-being. Taking care of yourself is not about judgment, it's about self-respect. It's about acknowledging that you deserve to feel confident, healthy and empowered in your own body. Whether you're engaging in casual sex or are in a committed relationship, practicing safe sex and prioritizing post-sex hygiene is a form of self-love. It's about making choices that protect your physical and emotional well-being. So, let go of any guilt or shame you might be holding on to and embrace the power of self-care. Remember you are worthy of respect and taking care of yourself is a testament to that worthiness. Embrace your sexuality with confidence knowing that you're taking the necessary steps to stay safe, healthy, and happy. And so there you have it, folks. 10 essential post-sex hygiene tips to keep you feeling confident and healthy. Remember, taking care of your sexual health is a vital part of your overall well-being. It's about respecting yourself, your partners, and making responsible choices that protect everyone involved. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor or a trusted healthcare professional. They're there to provide accurate information and support you in making informed decisions about your sexual health. Stay informed, stay safe, and as always, stay happy and healthy.